As a mother and as a student, Valerie Boudot has set herself free from the drug problems that once plagued her and that ultimately led to her arrest and a nearly three-year prison sentence. But until she is free from her prison debt, Valerie will never truly be free. I've been arrested a total of four separate occasions for inability to make my legal financial obligation. It seemed like no matter how hard I was trying, every time I turned around, I was being arrested again. Legal financial obligation is pretty straightforward. It's the fees, fines, costs, and restitution that are imposed by a court uh, as part of a criminal judgment and sentence. So if you get a conviction in Washington state, you get legal financial obligations as part of your sentence. Failure to pay LFOs often results in incarceration of indigent defendants. While the U.S. Supreme Court has outlawed debtors' prisons, every day in Washington state, people are incarcerated simply because they are too poor to pay their LFOs. In the midst of moving from place to place and really trying to utilize every penny that I had just to survive, I didn't have the money to make the payments. And, you know, I was doing the absolute very best that I could. I would send, you know, partial payments, or if I had missed a month, I would send double the next time, or, you know, anything I could possibly do to try and keep up. If people have this debt that's hanging over their head for years and years, sometimes decades or the rest of their lives, they're never going to be able to go back to living a life that, in which they're free. I've got a fine for $3,500, and the interest on this one is 2000 and something because that has been accruing the entire time, you know, I was locked up and everything. And now there's this other one for $3,500 with another $800 interest added onto it. And that's just in a short period of time. So that's why I called um, Northwest Justice Project who directed me to um, Columbia Legal Services. And I was contacted by a gentleman by the name of Nick Allen. The reentry clinic provides legal assistance to low-income people uh, throughout the state who are facing barriers to uh, successful reintegration back into the community. Our goal is to work on um, the issue, the reasons that people are institutionalized in the first place, the conditions that they face while they're institutionalized, and helping um, avoid reinstitutionalization once people are released. Valerie's got a, a great story, and we wanted to make sure that we stayed in contact with her. Um, not only because of the, the county that she's from, but just because uh, she really serves as a great example of somebody uh, who ha it has successfully re-entered back into the community. And if she could just address these legal financial obligations, she'd be on even a better path to that re-entry. I've been accepted into a program called Post-Prison Education. I am a full-time 4.0 student at um, Highline Community College. I am working on uh, eventually my master's, but right now my associate's in social work. My ultimate goal is to get my master's with social work with an emphasis on child development and to open a supervised visitation facility for um, low-income parents who need visitations with their children.